so we're going to make a cow with the knit crate yarn that we got for February and this is from Creative Grandma it's a uh, Odin Wools very very pretty yarn and in the colorway is Sky it's 80% super wash merino and 20% tencel so it's a sport weight it has 350 yards and it says US 2 to 4 knitting needles, but no, I am using a 6. 6 knitting needles, they're circular, they're short. And uh, you can make, you know, as long as your stitches go around, you can make it as big as you want. But um, these are 16 inches. And I am going to show you what cast on I'm using here. So I'm using the chain cast on, which is you go in between those two stitches. So you're going to pick up the whole stitch. See, the front and the back of the stitch. So you go in between those two stitches and then knit it, turn and cast on. So again, turn and cast on. Go in between the two stitches with the two loops gathered. There we go. And one more. So I have a tw 120 stitches here. For the stitch that I want to make, it needs to be a multiple of 2 plus 1. So that means an odd number of stitches. So since I will need 121. So let's do that. And then you know you can always take one off. So you need to have all your cast on loops looking toward the inside. So you can start your knitting. So all the loops are toward the inside and all the stitches that go around the needle are up. So you see how they are. Okay, so now you want to pick up your yarn and go it together like this. So you're going to start knitting. So I'm the first row I am only going to knit. I'm going to knit for several rows and I know it's going to curl in but that's exactly what I want. So you're going to knit several rows and when I do that I'll come back. So let me tell you how this is. I knitted the first round purl two rows, knit one row, and purl one row. So once that is done, I'm going to start with my stitch. And what I'm going to do is that with my yarn in the back, I am going to slip that stitch as if to purl. My yarn is in the back. And then knit one. So again, my yarn is in the back, slip as if to purl, and knit one. Slip as if to purl, and knit one. Slip as if to purl, and knit one. Because you see the stitch is going to look, is going to come out on the other side of your work. So that's very important for you to know. So we're going to slip and knit slip pearlwise and knit and do that the whole round and then I'll come back. Okay so after I did my slide one knit one row uh, I purled another round and this will be round number four. So I since it needs to be alternated it does it by itself because that ha we have that extra stitch so now on this one we knit the first one and slide. Knit the next one and slide. 
knit and slide knit and slide and that way on the other side you're alternating the the uh, parts that you are sliding your stitch so you have that bar that goes across alternated between rows number two and number four so I'll finish this row and then start again pro one row slip one as if to pro knit one and then pro another row and then uh, knit one and slide as if to pro so you alternate them I'll have it all written down anyway okay so I worked 10 inches from the start of my cowl and I'm going to show you how pretty this looks it is such a pretty stitch and I'm going to put this a little bit closer let's see I hope you can see that look how pretty that looks so such a pretty stitch so remember that the right side of your work is on the wrong side <laughs> okay so we're going to end to mark the stitches from the beginning so it looks the same and I will tell you what we're going to do first we're going to purl one row after the four row repeat we're going to purl one row and I'll come back when I do that okay so now I'm going to knit one round and purl two rounds and now I'll come back to show you how to bind it off so once I finish with those rounds I'm going to start binding off on the same side as where I have been working all this time so I knit one knit the next one and bind off very softly because you don't want this side to be tight so regular bind off and I will see you when I finish this round this turned out to be such a pretty cow so it's 22 inches wide around and if you want it a little bit bigger you can make like 33 inches you would have to work with 181 stitches and if you even want it longer like 44 inches you would need to work with 241 stitches so I'll have all that thing written down and this is like ten and a half inches long and you can also use it as a headband let me show you how you can fold this in half and use it as a headband and also you can use it as a folded cowl if you don't want it to be so long so this is very very pretty stitch let me show you a little bit closer thank you very much for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I will see you next time